This background is everything right now. This Christmas tree is giving the cutest atmosphere and I'm so sad that I have to take her down. But anyway, Merry Christmas guys. I hope you all had the best festive period. I literally loved every single second. I'm still loving it. For me, Christmas day doesn't end on Christmas day. Like I'm dragging Christmas day out over the next few days. It's now four days since Christmas and I'm still eating Christmas food, I'm still watching Christmas movies and I will be right up to New Year's Eve. I can't believe we're back here again with a what I got for Christmas. Like I feel like time is going so quickly at the minute but I'm gonna show you everything I got. And again, I was very spoiled. This is not me trying to brag. I just like watching these videos. I'm nosy as hell. I've actually watched so many already and I thought it's time for me to film mine. So I'm gonna show you what I got for Christmas. I feel like I'm waffling a lot in this video. I've not really spoken many words in the last few days because I've just been hibernating in my apartment. So if I seem a little bit like chatty in this video, that's why. But anyway, I'm going to start off with what I'm wearing. I thought while I'm doing this video, I'm going to put on one of my new items of clothing. And I always love doing that. Like when you've just got something for Christmas and you put it on and you're like, yes. I got this Chrome Hearts jersey. I've literally wanted this for so long. And I was so close to buying the black one. But I knew that I'd asked for Chrome Hearts for Christmas. So I was like, just in case, I'm going to hold off buying for a little bit. I literally love it. I feel like I'll get so much use out of this. Yeah, this was my first present. And I thought I'd just throw it on for this video because I've been so excited to wear it. You have no idea. And then I also got another little present from Chrome Hearts. And... These are so cool. So I got a pair of, oh, <laughs> I got a pair of gloves and these are my ideal gloves because the reason I don't wear them is because when I'm wearing gloves, you can't obviously use your phone. So I'm taking them on and off that much that I'm like, do you know what, forget it. And I never end up wearing gloves, but because these are fingerless, I mean, and they're chrome hearts, which makes them really cool. These are just my ideal gloves and I feel like they actually look so cool as well. And I think, I've just said this, I think 2024 is gonna be the year that I wear silver more. Like at the minute, I'm definitely a mixture, but I'm more gold. Whereas next year, I think I'm gonna be wearing silver a lot more. I mean, I'm wearing silver right now. I've got silver on my gloves. I just, I don't know, there's something about silver that I'm really loving at the minute. I'm such a Chrome Hearts girl. I'm literally obsessed. It's probably one of my favorite brands. This was a very special gift and probably one of my favorites. And I know I'm gonna get so much wear out of this, but I got a Goyard bag and I've literally wanted a Goyard, like a large one, because I have the little small blue one, but you can't really fit much in it. But I've wanted the large one for so long. I just think it's so handy for like carrying your laptop. It's a good airport bag. It's just a good tote bag for when you're running errands or like doing whatever, but you need to carry a lot of stuff. And I just think this pink color is so cute. I don't know many people with this color. I feel like I see a lot of like the white, the orange, the yellow, the blue, but not many pink. So I'm really happy with this. It's also got a little pouch inside as well, which is really good for like your passport, money, everything like that. So yeah. This is my new little go yard. I always call my bags my babies. Like I'm definitely a shoe girl, but more so I'm such a bag girl. Speaking of bags, I did also get another bag and I shown this on a vlog. I think it was my last vlog that I did. And I said I was obsessed with it. And I got it for Christmas. And it's so funny because I literally bought this bag the day before, no, yeah, the day before Christmas Eve. And I had to return it because I got it for Christmas. I had to return it yesterday, but I literally bought this bag for myself and then got it for Christmas. And I was like, this is meant to be. But I got the super busy bag and I love this because of all the different compartments. I feel like that's so cool. So it's got like an AirPod compartment. It's got compartments on the side and it's so nice and big on the inside as well. I feel like this is just a perfect everyday black bag. I wouldn't really dress this up. I don't think like this to me is definitely more of like an everyday bag. I got a new pair of trainers. So these are Travis Scott Jordans and the color is everything. They're just neutral, plain, like great everyday trainers. I literally wear my other Travis's to death. I probably wear them four times out of seven days a week. Like I literally wear them for everything. They're so comfortable. They go with everything. And now I've got another pair. So yeah, these are the Cactus 
strap borders. Let me get them out. I think I might actually change the laces on these, but I've just got the black ones on for now. And I mean, already I'm obsessed. Okay, where do I go next? This is the cutest thing ever. And I feel so bad for doing this, but my nan, bless her, chose me a pair of sunglasses. And I feel like sunglasses are so difficult because like everyone likes different shapes. Everyone's got a different face shape. So I, I'm actually gonna change these. Oh, I feel really bad. And I never do that with gifts, but I know she'd spent a lot of money on these. So I was like, I'm gonna have to tell her that I'm gonna change them. I'm gonna keep the brand and I'm gonna keep with the same present. So I'm gonna, let me actually tell you what I got. So she got me some Mew Mew sunglasses, but these are just not very me. I don't think they suit me at all. So I'm gonna change them for a different pair of Mew Mew sunglasses. These were from Harvey Nichols, I think. Um, yeah, Harvey Nichols. But do you see what I mean? Like, can you imagine me with these? No. I mean, she did so well with Mew Mew because Mew Mew is my top favorite brand at the minute, but it's just the shape. The shape is given, I don't even know what, like mom, no. And I felt so bad, but my mom was like, no, that's too much money to spend for you not to like your gift. And she didn't care. So I'm gonna exchange these. They are really cute. They're just not my style. So, and I feel like if I bought someone something and they would get more use out of something else, then I would much rather, like I don't get offended by things like that. I would much rather them go and get something that they're actually gonna wear. So that's my justification to myself. That's what I'm gonna do with these. I got two new perfumes, which I always love getting new perfumes on Christmas. I did actually ask for these because I needed a top up. They're probably one of my most warm perfumes. So I got the Le Labo Santel 33 and this is, oh my gosh, I've not even opened it yet. It is such a good daytime scent. I mean, even in the evening, I love this, but it's so, oh my gosh, can I get this open? It's so fresh and just like you've stepped out of a shower, but like a spa shower. This is what it looks like. I also have the old bottle of this. I've got a little bit left, but I've got this on display because I think it's such a nice bottle. But this scent, I'm even gonna spray some now. Oh, it's so good. You need to smell it. It's kind of, it's more masculine than a lot of my fragrances. It is a unisex perfume. I really like this on guys as well. And then I also got a new Delina. So the original Delina that I had last year was just like the original one. Whereas this one is the exclusive, which I've never had before. And I think, I don't really know the difference to be honest. I just know the base notes are a little different. This one is so much stronger. And kind of sweeter. Yeah, I would definitely say that the Lolabo one is more of a masculine scent, but this is so feminine and girly. And this smells to me what ballerinas would smell like. I mean, even the packaging is so cute. I actually got my sister-in-law the same perfume as well for Christmas. It's just the best for a girly girl very nice. I also got a few books for Christmas and I love getting books off people for Christmas because I love the thought of someone going out and buying me a present and thinking what book would Mads like? Like there's so much thought into someone buying you a book. Someone's actually thought about what you would like to read and I think there's something so cute about that. I got three. This one I've already started. This is The Power of Now. Wow. Like I'm this much... I'm this much of the way through it since Christmas. I only started it yesterday, actually. I only started it yesterday and it is so good. I've got so much left, but even just this has changed my thinking already. So if you're looking for a good book, like not a fiction, is this a non-fiction or a fiction? Why don't I know that? If you want a personal growth book, let's say that, this one is a good one for the new year. I also got this one. Me and my auntie have a bit of like a book club because we really like the same kind of books. Like she loves Colin Hoover books and like romance books and thrillers and things like that. And she said that I'd really like this one. This one's called Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. I'm excited to start this, but I'm kind of on my self-development reading at the minute. So I'm gonna carry on with this one and maybe read this one when I go on holiday. The last one, 
I'm like reluctant to show because it's kind of going to give away a project that I've got coming out next year. So I'm not going to show it, but I got another book and it's more like a business development book. We'll leave it there. Oh, this one's a fun one. I got a Rick Owens puffer and this is the warmest thing ever. So this bit isn't actually a hood. It's like, let me show you. It's like a scarf which is so cool and I'm such a cold person so any coat that is going to keep me like maximum level warmth is always a good purchase in my books. It's just a black puffer coat with this silver detailing and then obviously has like all the rip detailing on there as well. And this is going to be great because I know that for me, January, February are the coldest months. Like November and December are bad, but it's always January, February that it gets so cold. And now I've got a new coat. I got quite a few homey bits this year because I'm trying to decorate my apartment and just get it looking really quirky. Like I've been trying to buy, actually this was another Christmas gift. I've been trying to buy like really quirky things here and there and I got a few quirky things for my apartment. So this is, it's kind of like a night light. She's really cute. I think that was on earlier, but I think I need to replace the batteries. But I got this light, which I love. Then I also got a really similar light, a Pac-Man light. Um, this one also needs batteries, but I love having things that don't really make sense in my apartment. Like for me, I do love and can appreciate like a minimalistic apartment or where everything's matching, but that is just not me. Like I love personality and art and things that represent me. Like I just love that. So I kind of like having my apartment a little bit mismatched. And I also got these lights, I think. This was in an Amazon box, so I'm guessing these were from Amazon. Yeah, they're just little desk lights, which I thought were really cute. So you can put them on like coffee tables, you can have them basically anywhere. Oh yeah, even as a little night light and they change color settings. So I thought that was really cute. I got a bottle opener from Alessi, which I don't have a bottle opener. And I think this is one that I'm actually gonna keep out. I do have a few Alessi pieces in my kitchen, like my kettle and my grater. And my grater actually goes with this. So I thought I could even try and like put it out somewhere cause she is too cute to put away. Like I'm not locking her in a cupboard. She deserves to be out on display. So yeah, I got a little Alessi bottle opener. A strawberry mimosa candle, which smells divine. I feel like I've been overstimulating myself recently though because I've had all my candles on and there's so many scents going on that it's literally overstimulating. Like I've had gingerbread latte, strawberry mimosa, oh, I've not, well I've not burnt that yet, but like I've had like an oud one and then cookies and cream and it has just been a sensory overload of smells. So I'm trying to like delegate what candles I'm lighting during the evening. Yeah this is going to be more of like I'm feeling self-care vibes, like a spa evening, a solo date spa evening with a strawberry mimosa candle burning. And it also goes with my little strawberry bars, which my friend actually got me for Christmas, but because she got it me a while ago, I forgot that this was actually for Christmas. I like that even without flowers, she's still a cute little piece. I got some alcohol. There's some that is not here because I've either chipped into it. In fact, I've even chipped into this, but I've either chipped into it, drank it all or left it somewhere. So I got a bottle of Prosecco from my management and it's got my name on. The only thing is when something has my name on, I'm really reluctant to open it. I probably would have drank this by now if it didn't have my name on. I've thought I'm not opening this yet. I've been very, we're not opening the one with my name on. So we've been going for the 5 dollars Aldi one that's in the fridge, but I got that anyway. I got a Bailey's, which I'm probably like halfway through, I'm not gonna lie. And I'm even thinking, I might even pull myself one after this video. I also left one of my presents at my brother's because I had to get an Uber home and it was too big to carry, but he also got me a coffee machine. I got a new coffee machine, so the old one, is going in the bin because it's literally not even working anymore. You'll see my coffee machine in future videos, I'm sure. Another thing for my kitchen, I got some chili oil. I always use chili oil in my cooking, but it's the one that's in a jar. So I'm glad that I've got one that I can just 
I've taken this out, but I got some tequila shot glasses. And then it also comes on a little board. It has the salt dish and... Oh no, the lime dish and like a little salt shaker. So whenever I've got people over, this will be really cute to get out. Guys, this was one of my favourite presents that I opened. So my auntie kept telling me to keep the 6th of February free. And I was like, okay, that's a while off. Like she literally told me this in November. Found out on Christmas Day, I'm going to meet the real life Carrie Bradshaw. Like if anyone knows me, they know that I am me. I am Madison Sarah because of Sex in the City. Like Sex in the City brought me up. Sex in the City taught me everything I know about the birds, birds and the bees. Like I've literally watched that series over and over, probably about 10 times. I'm not even joking. Like I started watching it in high school. It's my comfort show. It's my favorite show. You get the gist. And for my 18th birthday, she took me to New York and took me on a Sex in the City tour. So basically this is the woman who originally wrote Sex in the City and she's doing like a talk, I'm guessing, and we're gonna go meet her. So we've got the talk and then it's a meet and greet afterwards. And I don't usually like, not to sound bougie, but like I don't usually do that kind of stuff. I would love to meet this woman. Like I am so excited. So yeah, she got me tickets for that. And then she's also, like paid for us to stay in this nice hotel, go for dinner. So it's gonna be like a whole experience. And I love getting experiences for Christmas. I think I said this in a video, but getting things like that means so much because I can look forward to it. It's a memory. Oh, I'm so excited. How could I forget? I also got a little Chrome Hearts t-shirt, but this was from myself. I always have to get myself something and this was the present to myself this year. I love wearing little vests. I probably wear vests every single day. So I thought I may as well get a few that are more like dressing up vests, if you know what I mean. So I got myself this one. Last but not least, this was actually one of my favorite presents and this was from Manny. So Manny painted me two paintings for my apartment. Wait until you see these. These are absolutely huge. And you're not even probably gonna see it all, but sorry, I've not even got any socks on or anything and my pants are probably stained, but how gorgeous. Imagine getting this for Christmas. I was so shocked. I mean, can you see it better like that? This is the kind of art that I like. I like it when it doesn't really make sense. It's a little bit abstract. And then this is the other. So a very similar vibe, but obviously in an orange and it's just got like a different shape but I just wanted to add some color in my apartment like it was the walls were just missing especially this back wall it was really missing color and I just think these are gonna go so nicely up on the wall oh, oh my gosh I'm tired now that was everything I got for Christmas and I'm so beyond grateful I'm so grateful to my family and to my friends and to Manny for getting me everything like it's just been an amazing Christmas. I hope you guys got some gorgeous bits as well. Let me know in the comments what you got, what your favorite gift was. Before I go, oh my gosh, this is gonna be my last video of the year. So I hope you all have the most incredible year next year. Like I am praying and wishing for every single person watching this video to have the most incredible 2024. I believe that we're going to have the best year. There's so much that I've got lined up that I can't wait to show you guys and I just want to thank you all again for being here for another year. Like, I love you all. I'm getting soppy, but we're not going to do that. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in 2024. Very weird to say. Bye.